Greenwich Ridge Greens update. As you can see, the halide light, the 250 HID high intensity discharge light is starting. We moved all the tomato plants outside, and the wind caught them today and kind of toppled them all over on us. But we irrigated them fairly well and gave them a somewhat greenhouse makeshift, I guess we called it. A makeshift greenhouse out of our uh, post of our balcony outside. So now we just put all the green peppers in there and as the light comes up you'll be able to see them more but eventually the light will be just too much for this camera. It's just, it's really bright as you can see. But yeah, I haven't counted but I'd say there's oh, at least 120 peppers here. And I still got to plant hot peppers. I don't know if it's too late now or not. I just got them. Vessie seeds finally came in a month and a half after I ordered them. I don't think I'll be bordering from Vessie seeds anymore. They do have good seeds, but that's just ridiculous. That's a ridiculous time for seeds to take to get here. I don't care how busy you are. You know how busy it is. Get your act in gear. Anyways, I won't need them anymore. I'll make my own seeds grow my own seeds and uh, instead of looking through the screen I'll move it everything's coming up that lettuce never came up with all our chives it's basil right there and then thyme and then more peppers <laughs> another another what's that 60 peppers there and then we got your sage and we cut that all down and now it's growing again. That's what you're supposed to do. That was a mistake. We should have kept just trimming it. So learn as you go. We're learning. And then we cut down the uh, giant leeks, which are at the front, I believe. And then sweet onions are at the back. And looks like three of them didn't grow or make it. But uh, they were this long up to the light. So she cut them down and put them in a container and we'll have them an egg sandwich or something. The leeks might be a little strong. They actually have some heat to them. Anyways, that's uh, Granite Ridge Greens update on our some of our produce coming coming along. We had to move the bed from the back room. The bed here. It was uh, it was in the back room <laughs> where the birds are. <laughs> we needed a spot for the birds for the bleeds. See, and they're all doing well. The camera doesn't really like the red light. I had two heat lamps on, it was just too hot. I got a window for some transfer of air, some fresh air. We got the screen open, so we got a cross breeze coming through. You're not supposed to get them chilled. But... And my friend David just told me that we're feeding them way too much. We're filling this dish which is what, about two inches by a foot, three times a day to the top. And it's not even been a week. Tomorrow's a week for these chicks. We got them a week ago. So they're actually, today they're a week old because they came out of the egg the day before. They were day old chicks, right? And this bag of food, I thought it was half. Um, there's a couple meals left, so I gotta go get another bag of this. So we're gonna slow down on their food. My friend David, he raises 100 birds a year. And sells them. Uses an abater, I guess, and sells them. Gets them certified like you're supposed to. And has some nice birds in Quebec. So I'm listening to my friend and uh, not overfeeding these guys. He said if you keep feeding them like that, they're going to have a heart attack. And I'm like, wow, like, did they ever grow? Look at that turkey. How big he is already compared to those other birds. Mm, fluffing himself up there. <laughs> I'd never had birds before, so this is all new to me. So, like I said, folks, if you want to do it, folks, if you want to do it, do it. Watch some of these people sold 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 the land is Jason and his wife and his daughter. That's who I trust and go and watch now. They used to watch Justin Rhodes, but they made a comment about his son still doing pull-ups at six years old and. I got my comments 
put in the bad file or whatever the hell they do. I don't know. Don't make any real comments. Just fluff everybody up and and you know give them all a little jerk and make them think that they're some sort of movie star on YouTube or something. <laughs> I seen Sean said goodbye today. Yeah, you better say goodbye. <laughs> uh, phony prick. Anyways, I think he's going away because he's lied to all you fine viewers on YouTube for so long. I went over and made a video at Sean's Gate last year and Google won't let me put it up. They keep taking it down. It's about who he really is. Sean, Sean and the other part isn't his, really, even his real name. It's a completely different name. Maybe that's his middle name. I don't know. But I do know that's not his real name. He's been using the people for the $30,000 per week that he gets from YouTube and he's been protected because of uh, <clears throat> you know it's, it's it's all about the advertising right when it comes down to it that's where the money comes from is the people pay for advertising and they're hoping that the people are on on cue and being honest but that there's nothing honest about that guy and if uh, you think so you're fooling yourself that little cabin, have you ever seen it get messy? Is there any scratches on the floor? I lived off grid people, hauling in wood, and your water, and your supplies, in the winter, bubbles the floor, takes the finish off, etc, etc, etc. If someone lived in that cabin full time, it wouldn't look like a poster card like it does. It's just a story, it's a good story, and he's a, he's a video expert, so, He's made himself a good story, but Sean, you'll never be Dick Prennigy. There was only one of those guys, and he was real, and he wasn't full of shit either. So, I respect I respect Dick to this day. I have a lot of respect for Dick, but I don't have a lot of respect or any respect at all for someone that goes around bullshitting about who they want to be in, uh, in other communities. They call those guys wannabes. Because, well, they're full of shit, but anyways, that's the way it is. Some people wouldn't know the truth if they fell over top of it. I don't know how some people look themselves in the mirror. Anyways, you can see how windy it is here. And it's kind of cacked over a lot of my tomato plants, so we'll see what happens. I'll let them go through the night. I may have to block the bottom. We've got a heck of a lot of wind in here, but they're not in direct wind. I turned my balcony into a temporary greenhouse and at the front here I'm gonna go from that top corner probably beside the eat trough or just move it over because it's easy to move easy enough to move I'll move it over and maybe go down from that uh, the balcony plate right there that one go down on an angle out that way maybe out like a 45 or a 15 degree angle from this post out and then one off the corner here and down past the roof line to there and then we'll plastic that in. So maybe we'll fill the bottom in this and we will use this as a greenhouse. That's all I'm concerned about is getting some crops in, feeding some hungry people. There's lots of hungry people up here and they're even hungrier now that COVID uh, has taken away a lot of their ability to make extra money and stuff. So every little bit helps and if you can help somebody else out I've always said, if you're extending your hand to someone, it shouldn't be like that. It should be like this. You should be extending your hand to help somebody else up. And if you're doing anything else, you're doing wrong. I don't care what you say. Like Tom Wilson used to say and taught me when I was 11 years old, it's nice to be nice. And the other thing is respect. You gotta have respect for each other. If you don't have any respect for other people, Nobody's going to have respect for you. Be nice, people. Granite Ridge Greens. Peace out. Catch you all later. Be nice. Bye for now.